Okay, so we're back again. So let's go on to problem 42. Now this one is, we'll do this one in, is this one we're going to do? No. Problem 42. Can we go to 42? Thank you. All right. This one's tricky. This one's tricky because it's got a bunch of different moving parts. So I'm just going to start on a clean sheet. Okay. And let me, I wish there was a way. See, I don't know how to pause. When I go to the movie thing, I don't know how to pause it when we're in the middle of doing it. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't see how to, to pause it. So sorry. We just got to kind of keep plowing through. So um, I'm going to write down the... Uh, things here that we're going to need 5.36 kilograms so mass of one is 5.36 grams which is we'll have to change that to kilograms and its initial velocity is 351 meters per second okay it's moving to the right so the bullet is approaching two blocks resting on a horizontal frictional surface okay air resistance is negligible the bullet passes completely through the first block, an inelastic collision. Why will it be inelastic? Because it's slowed down. It has slowed down quite a bit. And the kinetic energy before in the situation is, is not equal to the kinetic energy after. And embeds itself in the second one. So as indicated in part B. Uh, okay, so in part B, it embeds itself. Note that both blocks are moving after the collision. This block has a velocity of 0.747 meters per second after the collision. So it's, like, uh, it's going really slow. All right. Um, and the, the first block has a mass of 1,235 grams, which I, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if... Um, and what is the velocity of the second block after the bullet embeds itself? Since we divide out the, the weights, I bet you we could go ahead and leave the un, the masses as grams. But I don't want, I, I think you can do that um, because they're being pretty adamant that this is 1,501 grams. And whenever you do the momentum, before, whenever you're finding the velocities, the the mass unit cancels out so you could leave it the same you could leave it the same however for those of you that are new to physics i think that would just be confusing and you might start leaving it the same the whole time but but then on the other hand you guys are you guys are grown so let me get all the initial data written down here so the mass of uh block one is um 1235 Grams. I'm, so I'm going to leave things in grams because I know they're going to cancel out. And it has an initial velocity of block one is equal to zero. Basically, we're going to have to do two different scenarios. Okay. What is the velocity of the second block after the bullet embeds itself? Find the ratio of the total kinetic energy after the collision to that before the collision. So I'm assuming there's they're talking about before it embeds into here at the very end. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, so we will, I'll write down the information and we'll get started. 